guys um in lesson nine I forgot to do a couple things in my modeling um sorry about that and I'm trying to teach you uh, the correct way so if you remember from lesson nine uh we had this area uh, these four areas that were supposed to be one material and what I s forgot to do was to uh, glue these uh four areas together and through these lines so what I have to do in, in order to do that is to come to operate um, use booleans and glue areas and pick these four areas and click OK they are glued to each other then I can go to meshing again I have done all those uh, sizes, size, uh, sizes for lines and uh, stuff so I just come to areas free select them and my area is mesh so I have all my elements now what I, c what I have to do is to come to loads and make sure that I'm doing static analysis go to define loads apply structural displacement on key points and pick this one click OK make sure all DOF is zero OK and then I want to apply a force on this key point of minus 10,000 okay so then come to solve my model it's done come to general post process plot results deformed shape that's uh, a little bit different from previous time now so you see these uh, elements are deformed much more so if I, if I come here and apply this my my plate is not uh, deforming as it used to deform yesterday or in lesson 9 perhaps it's more uniform if I do that um, but the deformation is very small in terms of uh, 10 to the minus 6 uh, millimeters very very small so if you see this thing in here don't really um, uh, think that this is a, a huge deformation in y direction perhaps it's uh, nothing because it's uh, maximum is 0.209 10 to the minus 4 which is very small in terms of total um, displacement and uh, the other mistake I made yesterday, uh, remember when I came to styles, size and shape, picked this one, it didn't show me anything. It was because, uh, oh, okay, I think I made a mistake in uh, redefining the uh, uh, thickness of this plate. So the, re re the reason that yesterday I didn't see this, uh, uh, 3D representation was I came to select entities and then picked the key point in the, in the center and then the node there so the only I had only one uh, entity selected at a time that's why ancestor didn't show me this 3D representation let's get back to uh, real constants and edit the second uh, one that I had shell okay instead of 50 make them 5 or like 10 it was 10 okay close and resolve the model I hope it has saved it so let's get back to here and see the deformed shape and this one is uh, more realistic I just uh, input the values incorrectly so now this is the deformation in Y and and uh, uh, total displacement also you can see the phone misses stress and also let's go to list results reaction solution all forces 
and you see them here. And the reason that we have fx and fz in uh, this key point or in this point is that we have four elements attached to this point which are uh, going in x, y, and z directions and there is a load in y direction which is at the center of this plate so according to static uh, analysis we will have loads in the direction of these uh, beams or whatever they are that are holding this plate so that's why we have uh, forces in all three directions. This is the correction I had to make for lesson um, 9. Um, that's probably that.